my guys it is a hot sticky mid-august day in early april here in the collapse of global industrial civilization we have made it to a monday morning monday morning april 3rd 2023 and good god guys where to begin so i uh <laughs> You know, I'm going through the mainstream media this morning, uh, just taking what what was Al Gore like 10 or 12 years ago was talking about uh, reading the morning headlines, like taking a walk through the Book of Revelation. It, it, you know, Jesus, <coughs> just like like throwing a dart. Uh, trying to uh, figure out which one of these stories to run with. Uh, just, just to romp around the globe how uh, this planet is screwed on every level from uh, the North Pole to Pakistan to the Amazon rainforest to some giant blob of uh, seaweed uh good god almighty and uh i, I just said i i can't handle this uh, anymore so i go over of course i leave the mainstream media news to uh for a little bit of uh perspective on uh the morning news the monday morning news go over to medium.com guys all right I challenge anybody to out Doomer porn this chick. This Doomer chick never heard of this woman. Never heard of her since the day I was born, but uh, she has completely booted Umer Hack uh, out, out, out of his seat. This woman, what is her name? What is your name, darling? It is. Corrine Nita. Corrine Nita. Okay, she's just shy of 1,000 followers as Doomerchek. And well, of course, now I am following her. I, I wish I was following uh, Cor Anyway, we're not going to go there. All Corrine Nita says is we need the social with the science to call it economics. That's her total bio. In any way, uh, we're going to give a doomer round of applause to Corrine Nita, to penning perhaps the single most spot on analysis of humanity's relationship with this planet I have ever encountered in my entire life. I was reading this with my Monday morning cup of coffee, uh, you know, before heading back over to Amazon.com to go shopping for trinkets. Take it away, Corey Nita, and explain to any clueless moron not understanding humanity's relationship with planet Earth. Here we go. Our meaningless existence killed the planet, but we are already dead. All right. Take it away, Corrine. We leave our mark everywhere we go, sticking flags on the moon, pouring concrete across the Earth scattering plastics in every crevice, and claiming ownership of land that does not belong to humanity. Our species foolishly believed it could conquer its maker, and as reality hurriedly descends upon us, we will learn our place in the animal kingdom. Instant gratification, Amazon.com. Possessions, Amazon.com. 
self-importance and excessive consumption, Amazon.com, subjugate us, poison the good with greed, and extricate us from human nature. Meaninglessness crafted into meaning manufactured a world that solely exists in our minds and the soulless delusions convinced us to exhaust everything real. I'm going to have to make this a little bit bigger because I need to go on Amazon.com and get me some bigger reading glasses from China. The relentless raping and abuse to build a civilization destabilized ecosystems, the atmosphere, and every species, including us. Pursuing profit and private property compelled us to unsettle the perfectly settled environment. We destroyed everything we touched without ever coming close to constructing a decent existence, and there are no second chances. Earth screamed and cried every time we beat her, but we ignored her pleas and ruthlessly violated her. We greedily gutted her, hollowing her out until she had nothing left, and now there is nothing left for us. The penalty for our crimes condemns every species to a barren, harsh land because there is no such thing as individualism. Trade winds carry and deposit rich Saharan minerals washed away by the rainfall in the Amazon basin annually. The African soil replaces almost the exact amount of depleted nutrients. Nature survives by equally and communally distributing goods, and we thought we could selfishly defy natural occurrences and ourselves. We sacrificed and suffocated the Amazon rainforest to feed consumerism and our insatiable appetite for ownership, and we did not stop there. <clears throat> Water, soil, ocean, land, forest, minerals, air, animals, insects, and every corner of the earth suffer humanity's wrath. Our existence depends on the environment and their suffering is ours, but we ignore our connection to them believing we are superior. The temperature average will increase to one and a half C, killing the innocent first and the perpetrators last. How foolish and arrogant we are, and it would not be so horrible if it were not so sad and cruel. Humanity exists to consume and lives for nothing, and no one escapes the purposeless mess we made not even the rich. Our gradual mass suicide has begun, taking most of the planet with it, and those who don't die first will wish they were dead, because terror is worse than death. This is our legacy, and it is hard and painful to accept the truth. 
we knew the consequences, yet we plowed ahead. Praying to our gods will not save us because earth is God. But we were too busy contriving meaningfulness to realize we had everything and it was perfect. We searched for empty promises but could not see the world's riches which were in our sight the whole time. The irony. We are already dead, but now we will feel the pain of dying, and to those who tried to save us, I'm sorry. We are so sorry. There you go. Ah, thank you, Corrine Nita. Uh, Corrine Nita has 13 comments. Yes. Uh, here is a beautiful, a beautiful and horrific eulogy to Western civilization. Of course, Michael Campy. That just about covers it. Here is uh, Alfred. <clears throat> Yes, he is sorry for his nephews. Uh, here's Randy. Very true, Corrine. We have destroyed everything on, in our path on our way to something that does not exist. Yay us. Here's Danny. Nature will heal it all when we are gone. Yep, yep, yep. How about Doug? You use the past tense in a lot of this, but it is all still going on. And in many cases, at a bigger scale of devastation. Yes. Here is P. Cockaway. Humans deserve it. Every other life form on Earth does not deserve it, but they're going to get it anyway. Yep, here is Fred. So true, and the, uh, and the hope that keeps me going is that we can turn around. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, here is Gary re-quoting her, but we're too busy contriving meaningfulness to realize we had everything and it was perfect. This statement pretty much sums up the human condition. Yeah. You know, Tennessee Jed, uh... weighing in. I wish you were wrong, but I know you ain't. And what does Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles say? That was certainly a refreshing way to kick off another week of pointless consumerism. Now I can go back to Amazon.com to buy a solar generator so I can keep up this game of make-believe for a few more days after the grid goes down and civilization collapses. <laughs> uh, boy. Anyway, guys, I think uh, Corrine is... Uh, I, I, I think Corrine has articulated everything I've been trying to say here on YouTube for how many years, so maybe I can uh, just say, well, Corrine has said uh, everything that needs to be said about the state of the planet. 
and I can move on with my own life and get out there and enjoy this 94 degree day in early April while I still can. Uh, what do you think, little dog? Is Kareen right? Bye, guys.